Welcome to Code to Catch Up. My name is Jamie Jones and I'm excited about this video because it's all about Let's Encrypt releasing wildcard certificates in January of 2018. So what is happening with Let's Encrypt and wildcard certificates? Now this is a a highly requested feature and something that I've hoped that they'd bring out in the near future uh, from, I released a video a fair while ago talking about this, about uh, how to set up Let's Encrypt and, and why it's beneficial to use it, etc. cetera. Uh, so I highly recommend checking out that video. But the one thing I noted that you didn't have wildcard certificates. Now there was a way around that by essentially just registering multiple uh, domains or subdomains at once. So for example, we had example.com and you want to secure dev.example.com and maybe like blog.example.com. You could just tack them onto the uh, CLI command and you'd be good to go. Now that wasn't very beneficial in, in or an easy way to do it, but it was a workaround. Like a, it's a valid way to do it. Um, it worked, it did the job, uh, but you still didn't get that kind of wildcard support where you could just basically chuck any domain on, any subdomain on rather, and it would just work. So you'd, you'd, you'd be fine and, and off you go. You didn't have to go and register another subdomain, another subdomain, which made deployment and things like that a real problem for a lot of different people. Um, and and basically it restricted you into what you could do or you had to do these big workarounds, which is kind of painful. Um, but now Let's Encrypt is opening that up as of January 2018. So what they've got here is uh, basically they're, they're just announcing it uh, and saying that they've done some incredible things with the web. So Let's Encrypt is currently securing 47 million domains via our fully automated DV certificate in issuance and management API. This has contributed heavily to the web going from 40% to 58% encrypted page load since Let's Encrypt service became available in December 2015. So in two years, they've increased it's a phenomenal amount. Like those percentage, you might look at it and be like, well, that's only 18%. But 18% of uh, the web is huge. It's absolutely massive. Um, and the other thing that they're, they're talking about here is basically uh, these certificates will be offered free of charge. So they're not charging, like there was speculations, I, I, seen, I read somewhere like, oh, maybe they'll, they'll charge, so they can make some money, but no. So this is free of charge using their Acme version two API endpoint. Um, basically they'll only initially support base domain validation via DNS. So your base domain, that's it. And it has to be through the DNS validation, not through any of the other methods that they have uh, for those wildcard certificates. So the rest of them will still work as normal, but wildcard certificates won't. Um, so you have to do it through the DNS. They, they uh, do mention that they may explore additional validation options over time, but I think the safest bet for them is to do DNS based validation. And it kind of makes sense. Uh, to me at least, uh, I'd love to know your thoughts. If you think that's a good way of doing it, what other ways do you think they should do it? I'd love to know. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, and basically, this is an exciting time. Like I think it's really uh, it's really awesome and it's gonna open some more doors. So we've already seen because of Let's Encrypt the ability for hosting providers to provide free SSL certificates uh, basically with one click in a lot of hosting providers uh, and, and just make it a real simple process and it, it's really made that barrier to entry of getting your site on, H2, on an SSL certificate, so running over HTTPS, uh, just to be an absolute no-brainer in that regard. So that's great and this is gonna open even more doors for not only uh, hosting providers, which I think they're gonna absolutely love this and, and I'm sure they've probably worked with some of these bigger hosting providers, um, but basically it's just gonna make it uh, a lot more approachable to a wider audience, a wider aspect of applications for SSL certificates, where it was still a pain where you had to go and actually register a wildcard certificate, which still, even to this day, is a little bit more of a painful painful process uh, than what it really should be, and Let's Encrypt has really done that very, very well. So that's all I really have in this video. I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Are you excited for wildcard certificates being released? What are you gonna use it on? I'd love to know your applications for using that. I'd really love to know. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Uh, but other than that, we'll catch the next video. Bye.